Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm showing you my morning winter skincare routine. Um, I totally forgot to hit record when I was putting on my Summer Fridays overtime mask, but just leave it on for 10 minutes. I'm just sipping on a cup of coffee. I also applied it with my Amazon um, silicone brush for masks. Now I'm going in with my Kate Somerville Exfolicate um, Cleanser. I use this daily. Um, I find that it's actually gentle, so it's okay to use daily for my particular skin. I don't have sensitive skin, but I do have oily kind of combination skin during the winter, especially. My skin currently is extremely dry, very peely, so my oily skin overcompensates and like tries to produce a lot of oil, which ends up leading me to breakouts, unfortunately. So this is the routine I've been doing daily, and you guys, honestly, it's paid off. My skin hasn't looked this good in a while since the um, weather started to change. So I'm just rubbing that into my skin, obviously. I'm getting a lot of uh, little bumps all over my forehead and the temples of my Base. Um, my cheeks are doing okay, just have the occasional breakout, but um, that's kind of where my problem area is. So after I've really rubbed in the cleanser, I go in with my Vanity Planet um, Ultimate Skin Spa brush with the daily one, the gentlest one on the brush heads. And then I'll um, go in and swirl it on my face. I honestly, this is like a game changer. I know I mentioned it before in my Amazon video, but if you haven't used like a tool to really exfoliate your skin. I really feel like you're missing out only because the brush heads really get in deep and they um, are gentle enough to really pull out all the dirt and cleanse out the skin. And I feel as though the cleanser is really um, actually working when I use a tool like this. This one here wasn't expensive because I purchased it through Amazon. It was like 36 bucks for the entire um, set for the three brush heads, so I'll leave a link down below if you're interested. Um, but I try to avoid my scar because I'm still um, letting it heal. I um, pat dry my skin with a towel, and then I'll go in with a toner. So this is the Murad Clarifying Toner. It's incredibly minty, and it feels very refreshing. I think for sensitive skin, it would be kind of irritating, like it would feel a little too much, but clarifying Clarifying is the perfect word because it feels so incredibly um, fresh and bright after you put it on. Even after I finish this entire routine, the feeling of tingling still lingers. And as you can see on the cotton pad, it's not like super clean. There's still a little bit left over, which is amazing because it takes all of it off. Um, it kind of, it doesn't hurt, but that sensation definitely lingers. So I try to wave my hands and then I'll go in with my Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist. Um, and that just is replacing my essence. I haven't found one yet that I really, really love and that's affordable for me. So I'm just kind of um, spritzing some of this on my skin. And next I'll go in with my Dear Clean layers vitamin C serum and now this has a concentrated amount of vitamin C um, really what vitamin C serums do is for um, transforming your skin and really rejuvenating it especially if you have acne prone skin or acne scars or hyperpigmentation it's just gonna brighten and lighten the skin tone I use this day and night um, but when I use it in the daytime I just apply sunscreen after but Again, I've applied sunscreen on every single day. Next, I'll go in with my um, Kiehl's Avocado Eye Treatment. And this is a really thick consistency, you guys. This is a very heavy-duty eye treatment. Um, if you're not used to this, I'd recommend the CeraVe eye treatment as well. It's a lot more affordable as well, and it's at the drugstore. Um, but you'll just pat this into your skin. Um, the eye area and the orbital circle around your eye is incredibly tender, so it's important not to like rub it in. I've learned that the hard way. You don't rub it into your skin. You want to really gently pat it in and let that um, eye cream just really sit on top of the skin and just soak into the skin versus like forcing it to go in there like I used to. Um, next, I'll go in with my Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I've had this for a while. I've purchased two bottles of it or two tubes of it. I love it so much and it's gentle enough to use every single day. I don't use a ton of it, but I will, a little goes a long way with this product. So I'll just 
kind of sprinkle that all over my skin and really pat it in there. Because it's such a thick consistency, you really have to spread it out as you put it on. Um, and I try to get every corner of my face and pat it in there. I'm just like feeling what pimples are coming in. <laughs> Lastly, I'll go in with my last two products. This is the Dear Claire Soft Airy UV Essence Everyday Sun Protector. It's weightless, it's invisible, which I love. It doesn't leave a great cast or greasiness or white finish. Um, I love this product so much because honestly, I wear sunscreen every single day and it looks so good underneath makeup. It doesn't peek through, which is the best part. And then lastly, I'll go in with my Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. I've been using this every day since I got it. You guys, it's amazing. What it does is it not only makes your skin color look a little bit more bronzed without obviously going out in the sun, but this serum is good for evening out your skin tone, making your skin look really bright and dewy, glowy, hydrated. Um, I really... Honestly, it's changed my skincare routine using this product after now just because um, it looks really good under makeup, which is an amazing part. You kind of get that glow from within. Um, I should have rubbed it in a little bit more at my nose. And finally, I'll go in with my Body Shop Born Lippy in the Watermelon flavor. You guys, it smells incredible. You guys, like honestly, it smells so good. I've been using the Laneige Lip Mask. Um, at nighttime and this one is kind of like an equivalent but for the daytime it's not as heavy so if you like the Laneige one I would highly recommend this one here if you're at your local body shop it smells so incredible and that is pretty much everything that's my entire morning skincare routine for the winter time like I said I just take extra extra care during the winter because my skin is not super happy with the dry weather um, but yeah if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. All the links will be down below, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!